Today's lesson is to display measurement data in a line plot. The data I collected was I had a goal to drink one gallon of water every day. I measured how much water I drank each day and collected it in this table on the top left. Every day I put a tally mark for how much I drink. And I want to take the measurement data I collected in my table and put it onto a line plot. First of all, whenever we make any kind of graph, we always want to make sure we label it. So I'm going to label my line plot as water in gallons that I drank each day. And I've labeled my line plot as 0, 1 fourth, 1 half, 3 fourths, and 1 whole gallon. Using my data I've collected, I know that there were two days where I drank one-fourth of a gallon of water. So I had two tally marks, and I put two X's on top of the one-fourth. For one-half a gallon, I have five tally marks, so I'm going to put five X's under one-half of a gallon. For three-fourths, I have four boxes, and there were three days that I drank one whole gallon. Now that I've taken my data and the measurement that I've collected and I've put it into my line plot, we're now going to answer three different questions using this data we've collected. My first question says, what is the difference between the greatest amount of water and the least amount of water I drink? So there's a keyword in there which is difference. We know difference means subtraction, so I'm going to be subtracting something. And the things I'm going to be subtracting are the greatest amount of water I drink and the least amount of water I drink. So the greatest was one gallon, and the least I drank was one-fourth. Even though we have zero on our graph, there was never a day where I drank no water or zero gallons of water. So we're going to take our one whole, and we're going to change that into four-fourths. Then we're going to subtract the least, which was one-fourth, and this is going to give us our answer. So four-fourths subtract one-fourth. We know from a couple of chapters ago that if our denominators are the same, we can just subtract our numerators. So four subtract one is three. We're doing fourths. So three-fourths is the difference between the greatest amount of water and the least amount of water that I drink. Our second question, using the same measurement data, is how many days did I reach my goal of drinking a gallon of water? So we look at the one for the one gallon, and we can count how many tally marks or how many X's we have. So we have one, two, three X's above one gallon. So there were three days that I reached my goal. Our last question using this measurement data is how much water did I drink all together during the two weeks I kept track? So this one's going to take a little bit more work. So we're going to need to add all these up. This is going to require several different steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each um, fraction of a gallon and add those up. So if I have two one-fourths of a gallon, that's going to be two-fourths of a gallon, which is two times one-fourth. If I have five-halves of a gallon, I have five-halves. If I have four three-fourths of a gallon, 4 times 3 is 12, and we're doing fourths, so 12 fourths. And I have 3 whole gallons, so I'm just going to leave those alone as 3 for now. So, 3 holes. I can add all my fourths, except we have 5 halves. And that one I can't add unless I change it into fourths, which I can easily make an equivalent fraction by multiplying both of those by 2. So 5 times 2 is 10, 
and 2 times 2 is 4, so I can change 5 halves into 10 fourths. Now, all of these are in fourths, so I can add their numerators, 2, 10, and 12. 2 plus 10 plus 12 equals 24 fourths, which is an improper fraction. So, I know it takes 4 fourths to make a whole, so 24 divided by 4 equals 6, so I can make 6 holes out of that. But I still have to remember that I have these 3 gallons that I need to add in. So 6 plus 3 equals 9. And these are 9 what? 9 gallons. So the total amount of water I drank all together was 9 gallons of water. Since this first example has taken so long, we're going to skip right ahead to your three questions. There's just going to be three questions. They're going to be very similar to what I just did. So if you need to start the video over and go back, it should be able to help you figure these out. So your first question is, what is the difference between the greatest distance walked and the least distance walked. Remember that there weren't any days where they didn't walk at all, so you want to just find the least that they did walk. Number two, how many days did the student walk two-thirds of a mile? Number three, and this one's the one that's going to take you a little bit of time, but there is no number four, so this is going to count as two problems, and then you'll be done. The question is, what is the total distance the student walked? So you're going to have to figure out each of those parts, add them all together, and then write down your answer. Bring these to class tomorrow, and have a wonderful day.